to Bites Has Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the cover of Together in Electric Dreams which features in the new John Lewis advert. If you're not familiar with John Lewis adverts it's a thing here in the UK that they put interesting adverts on for Christmas so I guess this is like my first festive tutorial of the year. So I'll sing each section um, as a reference point and I'll also leave the full chords and lyrics linked down below as well. So this one is in the key of E flat major. So the chords are mostly formed using those notes. Here is middle C as a reference if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. I'll be teaching both hands at the same time. So the left hand is blue and the right hand is colour coded orange on the screen. So this song has loads of like effects in it as well. So we are just doing the piano part. So the first chord is what you call an E flat 5. So it's an E flat in the left hand and then an E flat and a B flat in the right hand. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you're going to move that shape up to E flat and A flat and then play that again with the E flat. And then we have the there. So that's E flat and G together, and then B flat, E flat which is just in shot, and then you play A flat together. So I'll just do what we've done so far. So, E flat 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So after we've played the... And then we go back and play the E flat 5 again. So that's the intro, so do all of that now. to the verse. I only knew you for a while. I never saw your smile till it was time to go. Time to go away. Okay, so we've got the E flat five again for two beats. And then we have B flat major second inversion, so it's F, B flat and D, but with an F in the bass, it's a split chord. And then we have C minor uh, second inversion as well, so it's G, C and E flat with a G in the bass, so it's another split chord. The bass line is going like... going up like that for the first few chords. So I'll do that again, so we've got E flat 5, B flat over F, C minor over G, and then we have A flat major, so that's A flat, C and E flat with A flat in the left hand. Come down and play either E flat 5 or E flat major, so that's just with a G in the middle there as well. And then we have D flat 5. So if you can't stretch octaves, just play D flat, A flat, and D flat, or you can add the D flat in there with your thumb as well in, in either hand. And then we have F minor, so that's F in the left hand, and then F, A flat, and C. And we have a quick A flat 5. to B flat over F. So I'll do all of that again. So E flat major, remember the, the chords are on the screen, write down notes and focus on one section at a time. One, two, 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 one, two,
So I'll just demonstrate the verse now with vocals. into the chorus. So you're going to play that verse exactly the same for the second verse as well. So let's go over the chorus. So we have to E flat major. So you can choose to play in octaves in the left hand now if you want to. So the right hand we're playing second inversion of E flat major. So that's B flat, E flat and G. And the top note is going to form part of the like that. It is played up there it would be easier to play that riff part as we're playing the chords as well in the same area. So I'm going to play it there so my hands aren't jumping about too much. So we have and then B flat, E flat and then A flat with so E flat and A flat. So there, on the last one, so we have the together in electric, we have that B flat uh, major chord but with a B flat in the left hand this time with the root note. And then on dreams we have the E flat 5, I'm going to play it in both hands, and then we change the B flat to A flat, and then back to B flat. and then it's into the second verse. So I'll just do all of that chorus again. the next verse which we're going to play exactly the same as the first one because the friendship that you gave has taught me to be brave no matter where I go I'll never find a better prize and though you're miles and miles away I see So this next bit is just full of effects, so it's up to you what you do there. It's going back to the... And then there's just like a wash of effects and then it's into the last chorus, which we're going to play the same. just ended on the E flat 5 chord at the end. 
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.